Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest Seven. We are back in Fishbell. Let's go ahead and talk to everyone. The world will be forever at peace now that God has appeared, won't it? I'm so excited. Even if something bad happens, God's mighty power will make everything better. I wonder why God decided to show up now, all of a sudden. Our world was so peaceful. It was peaceful enough without any old God. Let us not talk to... not visit our parents yet. <clears throat> oh wait, no, I need to go uh, visit Maribel first. Jeez. Nope, not gonna talk to anyone else. Gotta go see Maribel. I can't believe it. You not only destroyed the Demon Lord, but resurrected God too. I suppose I'll have to revise my opinion of you. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> I wish that I could have gone with you, but I couldn't leave Papa in his condition. Your father was sick? That's too bad. Oh, I actually uh, moved my party in just enough way that it does actually look like uh, Ira is talking to Maribel. That's too bad, Maribel. If I'm not with Maribel, then... Ah, uh, never mind. I have tried to do Maribel's part. <laughs> Our family is helping out with tonight's banquet, so I'll be it'll be quite a grand affair. It'll be such fun. You're invited, of course. I better be. With God resurrected, our harvests will go much more smoothly. That will make this village and country more prosperous. It's quite gratifying, actually. Enjoy the party tonight, Alden friends. I'm working hard to prepare the celebration feast. Cooking a feast for all the villagers is quite a task. Did you hear the, the great news, Ald? There's going to be a grand party to celebrate God's revival. I can hardly contain myself. I'm going to eat and drink until I pass out from revelry and exhaustion. A feast? All right, all. I haven't had a good meal in days. I do look forward to this feast, Master Ald. I was lost in thought. Suddenly, a voice rang out in my head, clear as day, but there was no one around me talking. The voice said, I am God. I thought I was crazy, but everyone else in the village heard it, too. This boat looks pretty worn out. One of these days, we'll just have to clean everything down to the nooks and crannies. Did you actually see God? Yes, I did. Really? I envy you. I didn't see him. Uh, the shopkeeper isn't there. I can't just sit around here on such a happy day. There really is a god out there. I can hardly believe it. Did I never open this? I'll check the treasure chest, but the chest is locked. Okay, so I can't open it. Game continues to tease me. I can't believe that God has shown himself in this world. God is with us since the beginning of time. You should give thanks to God for all he has done for you. Now let's go ahead and oracle. 31720 for Ald. 1530 for Melvin. 11187 for Gabo. 4940 for Ira. All right, let's go home. Wait, you can never go home again. No. It's great to have you back, all. It never ceases to amaze me that I saw the fruit of my loins revive God himself. Although I don't think he'll change our lives very much. I'm still very proud of you. Glad to have him back. Everyone in the world should know about God's revival by now. Most people's lives will barely be affected, even though God is here now. Your father looks good. I look better, though. 
Oh, welcome back, Ald. I'm glad you're here. You're all right. I'm so proud of you, son. You revived God and saved us all. That's why the village is preparing a giant celebration for you today. I have heard that Molly's cooking is excellent. I look forward to it even more. Your mother's cooking? Oh man, I want to try it right now. Maybe I should lend a hand. The women of the village are cooking a tremendous feast. I'm helping too, of course. No, you guys don't have anything else to say. Okay. I think we need to talk to everyone, or certain people, <clears throat> to get the uh, feast going. I mean, I want the feast to get going, don't you? Now that God has returned to the world, our fishing trips will be divinely blessed. Even if a storm hits, I'm sure that God will save us. Yeah, I don't know about that. He might be a little too busy. I better take this wine with me. It would be a sad day indeed if we ran out. Ow, don't sneak up on me like that. It's dangerous. I am not used to peeling potatoes after all. Ooh, every kitchen in the village is being used for the party. Have you noti notified Master Borcano and Mistress Molly that you have returned? I have indeed. Good, good. Hmm. Hopefully this will be enough food. Here, help me deliver this food and tell everyone to get started. Got it. You guys should go outside too, Ald. We're almost ready to start. Now, Master Ald, let us get out and go out as well. I wonder if we should have helped out. Mm. Yeah, I know that feeling, Gabo. I agree with you. Mm. Oh wait, no, it's gonna be all fish. Ah. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me. I'm just feeding the fishes. Ew. Meow. A toast to the return of God and the heroics of Alden and his comrades. Cheers. <sighs> Having the chance to drink in broad daylight is enough to give, make me give thanks to God. A feast like this is always welcome, no matter how many you go to. This wine is very good. Where'd you get it? Ah, I snucked it from the, the sailor. Oh, is it rude to eat while walking? No, it's fine. What'll I eat? This is great. It's sure been a long time since I've felt this relaxed. This atmosphere is very comfortable. <laughs> Hey, old, quit wandering around. You're gonna miss out on the food. Me, I've eaten so much I could explode. I was just going to rest here. Would you like just one tiny little mint? You're so lucky. I wish I could have some booze, too. I tried to sneak in a sip, but my mom got mad at me. Master old, are you still... Are you still a little too young for wine? <laughs> Maybe you should wait until you're older to begin drinking wine, eh? I don't like wine. It tastes vile. I agree, Agabo. Although I heard God speak, I still have a hard time believing that he is with us. Hearing him was truly awe-inspiring, though. I'm proud of what you've done, Ald. Please eat and drink it to your heart's content. Everyone in the world must know about God's revival by now. God has certainly been revived. Emma, don't eat so much, so much that you get sick. Yeah, you don't want to put your uh, daughter through uh, more pain like that. Oh, Ald, are you enjoying yourself? This banquet is not only to celebrate God's return, but your heroic actions as well. Looks like we're getting uh, recycled dialogue now. What's that? The body, the bottle's already empty. 
I'll have to bring some more from the cargo hold. How's the meal? Do you like it? Uh, I haven't eaten anything yet, but it sure looks good. Really great. I was in a huge rush, but I'm glad it turned out well. I don't complain. I'll eat it when it's, whether it's good or bad. Wow. Ah, uh, how I love the feel of the ocean breeze. It's just the thing when, for sobering up when one is feeling a wee bit tipsy. I don't think it works that way. It's nice to have drinks together once in a while, isn't it? I just remembered when we were young. Don't be silly. Neither of us have changed a bit from back then. My, it's rare for your father to be intoxicated like that. He used to take pride in the fact that he never got drunk or seasick. He must be really letting himself go today. <laughs> you must feel better now that you, your son isn't in danger anymore. Oh, your father was really drunk. I have a high tolerance for wine, you know. I don't care whether you follow in my footsteps or not. Uh, first and foremost, we have to find a wife. <laughs> a man is helpless until he has a wife to take care of him in his home. Isn't that right? <laughs> a bride for all. I'd like to see that. Be sure to call me, call me for the wedding ceremony, Master Ald. <laughs> Alt well, doesn't have someone like that yet? Uh-oh, Ira's lost in thought. Say, Alt, are you really going to be a fisherman like your father? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm sure you would make a wonderful fisherman. Alt, I used to think that was impossible, but you have really changed. God has been revived, so Alt doesn't need to carry a sword and fight anymore. Master Ald, I have, a, I have heard that fishing is hard work. Good luck at it. You want to be a fisherman, Ald? Catch lots of fish and let me have some. Uh, what if I say no? Oh, really? I hope your parents are okay with that. I would think that they'd be happier if you followed in their footsteps. There are many other things Ald wants to do, aren't there? You can do any kind of work you choose. Why won't you be a fisherman? I was hoping you'd get me as much fish as I could eat. Oh, right. Um, not exactly sure how I end the party. <laughs> Maybe I just go to bed. Let's see if that does it. I'm getting the impression that that did not do it. That didn't do it. Is there anyone that I didn't talk to? Words so sound hollow. Let your heart speak out. You can't, Father. We're children of God. This wine is meant to celebrate God's resurrection. Surely he won't mind if you have a small drink. All right, in that case, just a little. <laughs> oh dear, sorry, I must be getting a bit drunk. Uh-oh. Mm, hey, Ard, where do you think you're going? The party can't start without you. Get back here. How inconsiderate of you to have a party and not invite me, Ald. Regardless, I have a message for you from King Burns. He requests your presence at the castle. Don't worry about things here. I know how to handle a party. Point me in the direction of the alcohol and I'll start playing some of my beautiful music for everyone.
Alright, I wasn't actually expecting that to happen. What are you waiting for, Alt? Get going! Don't keep the king waiting, or he'll think that I forgot to tell you because I was partying. Let's go to the castle, Alt. We might find something better to eat. Wow, better than my mother's cooking? You monster. Master Johan is the same as always. Let's leave things to Johan here, Alt. All right, I guess we go. I am a messenger of God. We are currently building a great palace for him. To this end, we are recruiting soldiers and builders from across the world. King Burns nobly honored our request, so we... We will be off to the next country soon. I cannot stay silent. I must go help. God's castle? It sounds wonderful. Let's hurry to King Burns, Alt. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Oh, well, hello! <laughs> I saw it all. I prophesied everything in your adventures. Welcome back, Alden. Well done. Hooray for Alden! Hooray! Thanks, Alden. God's restoration is completely thanks to you. It is completely th thanks to me. Look at the bright faces on everyone. This is how things ought to be. Everybody looks very happy. Aren't you glad everybody's so happy for us, Alden? I've heard many tales of your bravery, Ald. You have shown uncommon valor in the face of danger. The king must be proud. King Burns is waiting for us, Master Ald. Let's hurry to King Burns, Ald. There might be something tasty there. Please, you must hurry. King Burns is expecting you. Amazing, Ald. Not only did you destroy the Demon Lord, but you also revived God. Now the world really has become peaceful. Really did it, I've got to say I'm impressed. By your heroic deeds. To think that God would... God actually existed here in our world. I have much to learn. The king hurried all the way down from the throne room. Our somewhat impatient sire will meet you in here. Wonderful, Ald. Shortly before you arrived, people calling themselves the messengers of God came to Astart. They have taken it upon themselves to construct a palace for God. I cannot even begin to imagine the scope or grandeur of a palace worthy of, for God to live in. I'd wager that Prince Keeper would be pleased with the work of Alden and his other friends, too. Thanks to you, I feel so much braver now. Maybe tonight I will tell the king how I feel. Thank you, Alden. My brother always wished for peace throughout the world. I wonder if Kiefer will ever come back. Nope. It is good to see you, Ald, and all your friends. Not only have you brought back the lands lost to the hands of the Demon Lord and rid his evil from the world, but you have returned God to his children. Your names shall be lauded throughout the world forever. Enough with formality, so. Ira, Melvin, Gabo, and Ald, I know you've endured much hardship on your adventure. Now, with the Demon Lord defeated and God revived, you have guaranteed peace throughout the world. After your long, strenuous travels, you deserve a much-needed rest. By the way, Ald, what do you plan to do now? Follow in the footsteps of your father as a fisherman? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Really? I'm sure Borkata will be pleased. What about you, Gabo? Me? I suppose I'll return to the woodsman's place. Hmm, yes, I see. How about the great Melvin? I'll be returning to God's side. I'll devote myself to protect e to the protection of peace throughout the world. A messenger of God has told me that there are plans to build a palace for God. It would please me if you could dis assist with that. Ira, what do you intend to do now? I... If it would please you, why don't you make this your home? You could become a castle guard or anything you please. Lisa seems to have really taken a liking to you. How about attending to the princess's education? Oh, Father? 
Thank you so much. Please let me think about this for a little while. Feel free to take all the time that you need. Now the time has come for celebration. Begin the festivities, musicians. That's your cue. And that night, Estart Castle held a grand feast. People from Fishbell and nearby uh, to nearby towns celebrated as well. That was really badly uh, edited. There's Engao. There's Dune. Celebrations continued here and elsewhere in the world for several days. There's Gorges. The people prayed to God for eternal peace. <laughs> There's Gabo running around in a circle. As he does. Aw, oh, Maribel's with us. Ah, uh, the end. And the days and months passed. All led a peaceful life, just as always. Then, one morning... He fell asleep and never woke up again. All oh, it's morning. Time to wake up. The sun has already risen high in the sky. This is no time to be dozing, Ald. You promised you'd help your father out, didn't you? You'll have to work extra hard to make up for being late. Get up already. Oh, oh. Sorry, it's so hard to sleep now, Mom. I don't have Gobbo's elbows poking me all the all night. I got kind of used to it. Oh, you're finally awake. It's time to go and give your father his lunch. I made the usual fish sub for him. Take it while it's hot. Ald received a fish sub! Uh. Make sure you don't lose your way, alright? Hurry along now. How could I lose my way? Anchovy filled sub. Uh. What's the matter? Your father's at the harbor, where he always is. He boards his ship there every day to go fishing. Now hurry up! Yes, Mom. I'm going, Mom. If you're going somewhere nearby, that little boat should be sturdy enough. A bigger boat would be better for making a big haul, though. You're talking about my little boat? <laughs> I think that's all the cleaning that needs to be done right now. Although uh, unapparent to the casual observer, our work isn't merely sailing. We're also entrusted with maintaining and defending the town and its harbor. <laughs> I could hardly just sit in bed all day. I may not be able to go fishing with Morcano, but at least I want to see him off. Bring your father lunch again? I don't know how you can stand being exploited. If someone ever tried to make me an errand boy, I'd knock them out. There's no one to talk to now. Aw. Ald, oh, where, where were you going? Where were you? Your mother could have given birth to another child, and I could have had him bring me the sandwich in the time it took you to get here. You didn't forget, did you? No, I didn't forget it. Ald gave the fish sub to his father. Mm-mm. This is it. These sandwiches keep my fishing skills toned. Mm, you know, Ald... Um, Ah, oh, I forget it. You go below deck and peel some potatoes or something. Fish job so good. Ald looked at the map. It's a map of the surrounding area. Before, we had to sail for days before we could find prime fishing waters. Now, no matter where we go, the fish are just piling into our nets. I'm glad things have gotten easier, but it feels like all the challenge is gone. Good morning, Ald. I'm starting to get bored of hanging around here. 
I've decided to ask your father to take me far away from here on his boat. I don't have any idea where I'll get off yet, but I'll probably never see any of you ever again. As long as I've got this instrument, I'll be alright. Take care. Eh, yeah, good riddance. It makes no difference whether the fish swim near land or far away. The fisherman goes where the fish are. Their lives are inextricably linked. Now that I'm home every day, I get to be with my wife all the time. Oh God, thank you so much. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. I haven't seen you in a while, old. You look different. Maybe you've been maturing. You'll be like Borcano Bor before long. I don't need anything done right now, so you could go back upstairs. Ah, oh, I came all the way down here on Dad's orders for nothing? Ugh. Oh, jeez, Dad. So rude. I'm at Borcano, but could you come to the shore for a minute? What's all this about? What happened? Quickly, quickly, friend. Uh, quickly, friend, tell us what has happened. Is it serious? I'm not sure. A group calling themselves Messengers of God just sailed in. We can't ignore something of such great import. Borcano, please tend to this matter. I trust that you will make it the right decision on how to handle this. Ah, just as we're setting off to fish. Why now? I'll go in my place. All aboard! Raise the anchor! Bye, Dad! Bye! Bye! Ah, he's dead. You look kind of down, Ald. Did something happen? Ah, what's that boat? It looks kind of interesting. Let's go check it out. Wait, don't leave me. What's going on? There hasn't been such a fuss about a fishing trip in a long time. Huh? What's that ship? I've never seen that one before. Meow, meow. I see. So people who claim to be the messengers of God came here on this ship? They asked me for directions to Estart Castle and left as soon as I told them how to get there. Hmm, I suppose that this matter isn't quite as important as I had originally thought. All we have to do is look after their boat, after all. Messengers of God or not, I don't care. They suddenly appeared and shouted, Woman, tell us the way to Estard. Where did they get off talking to a lady like that? Yeah. They crossed the ocean in that gaudily decorated ship. They might have God's protection, but I don't buy it. Awfully small. Hmm, so this is the ship of the messengers of God. What do you think of it? It looks rather gaudy to me, and the messengers didn't look that impressive either. Well, get in my party, Mirabelle. I don't have anyone else in my party. Your father and everyone else is, have already left the harbor, I guess. Anyway, good work, all. You could take it easy for a while. How much did I get paid for that? Paid for that delivery? Oh, nothing. I let you sleep here in this house. Dang it. What's wrong with them? Even if I was in their way, they didn't have to shove me. My lovely skirt was stained. I'm sorry, Ald. It looks like I'm in your way. That's fine. Are you going to the castle, Ald? Yep. If you meet up with them, give them a good punch for me. Oh, I can give them a quad hit. But I think that's going to have to wait until next time. We'll make our way up to the castle, see what these uh, rather rude and gaudy messengers of God want, and to see where that leads us. See you next time, everyone.